lover, looking for a good time? Do you work for yourself or a pimp? You look too young to be undercover. How old are you? Sixteen. I'd be raping you. Turning tricks because you got fired from Fox News? How do I know that you're not undercover? I'm not trouble if you're not trouble. I swear by the fifth amendment. Do you have some place to stay? Somewhere quiet, clean? You could eat off the floor. Or me. Let's go. What kind of party are you looking for, sweetie? <laughs> well, what would you do for this? If that's real, it gets you all night with me and two of my sexiest friends, girls or boys, any way you like. <laughs> well, I'm retrosexual, but I can tell you how I like it. Um, all night, no friends, and uh, something good to eat, a good night's rest, and coffee and cable news in the morning. And could you get change back for this? I want half of it in, um, uh... Bendy's, Fima's, Emirati's, Wander, Aros. Federal Emergency Management Agency Director Lawrence Powers in his address to the National Law Enforcement Association last night. I can hear them now. The inner city war wages on. The terrorist cyber attack on the Fema data center is just the latest example. This revolutionary agorist cadre is nothing less than a axis of evil. Drug lords, arms dealers, and anarchist terrorists. The FEMA chief's appearance last night was a surprise to many who expected that the director would not speak in public less than a week after the suicide of his wife. Private memorial services will be held today for economist Dr. Martin Vreeland died yesterday of a heart attack. Often called the father of the European Common Market Treaty Organization, Dr. Vreeland became a close advisor to Ucompto, and his limited government, gold-backed money approach, is credited for Europe's new economic miracle, for which he won last year's Nobel Prize in economics. It's killer inflation today, the direct result of the double whammy of overextending our foreign military obligations in eight different war zones and unlimited domestic bailouts for any institution, company, or individual suffering financial reverses. Now, despite the highest taxes in U.S. history, the government can no longer raise enough funds to pay for Social Security, veteran services, public education, or health care. With a few lucky exceptions, our major cities have become war zones, ravaged by food riots, arson, and terrorism. Our rates of unemployment and homelessness have never been worse in this, the second Great Depression. Once the U.S. federal government began paying off foreign creditors with funds the Federal Reserve Bank created out of nothing, our economic security and civil liberties were both doomed. Freeland was to have addressed an anti-war death rally this morning. He is survived by his wife and two children. Curtis H. Landy, president of the Armed Services Union representing enlisted personnel